Yes, okay. Uh, this Vigash boiler is a 25 kilowatt boiler. It's heating my house and hot water. Um, and that is my bedrooms. I've got five bedrooms in my house. Um, it's quite a large five bedroom house, and this 25 kilowatt does it wonderfully. It means that we've got a whole house back again. I live on the edge of Exmoor at 800 feet, so it's fairly, I'm above the snow line here, and it's fairly uh, damp. But the big gas boiler has uh, revolutionised the way we live. We have our house back, we used to live in the kitchen and the front room, uh, but now we have um, all, the, all the rooms uh, we can go into, and the children love it. It's a 12, 25 kilowatt boiler, and we will burn about 12 tonnes of timber through, through that in a heating season, um, which sounds quite a lot, but you'd be surprised how much wood you're burning in your wood burner now um, if you added it up. Uh, if you put a little bit more, you could heat your whole house with it. Uh, these boilers are 90% efficient. They're very easy to use. The maintenance is minimal. You, the ash in, in here is, I clean it out every three weeks. It's nice and clean now. And I get a Tesco bag full of ash. So there is very little maintenance on it. We have some tubes in the back here which need to be cleaned out every month. There's some tubes at the back here. This plate comes off. I won't do it now because it's hot. And there's some tubes that go down through the back. And because the flue gases, this is a down burning boiler, the flue gases go down, burns downwards through along the bottom and up through the tubes in the boiler. There are various safety devices with this boiler. There's a, this is a TS-130, which is connected to the main water supply and with a, two sensors in it. And if the boiler gets up to 95 degrees, it opens this valve here and allows water to go through the pipe in the top of the water jacket and comes out and it just goes to waste then. And that stops any overheating that might occur. I will just start this up. Uh, let's see how we are here. Oh, we've got a lovely bed of timber, so he's, he's ready to put some more timber on and shut the door and walk away now. So I've been talking to you for just over 10 minutes and um, she's ready to go, so I'll just tuck some timber on and you'll see just how easy it is to load. three years and it's been wonderful. Now I'm going to shut the door now, pull the flap back, make sure the bottom door is closed, tighten up, turn the button on and she'll, um, she's away now, she'll start and go and she'll do her own thing and I can walk away. I will show you uh, now why this is called a down burning boiler. I'll just open the bottom door and you can see the flame coming down through the fire. So I'll open this bottom door and there she goes. So you can see how what a good flame that is. And that's a uh,
that's it, job done. I could leave her now, um, and I can come back and light her in two and a half days' time for some more hot water. Or if there's winter, I come back this evening and put some more logs on. Put some more logs on tomorrow morning, and I'd have a wonderfully hot house. The controls on the system runs from a controller in the house. I've got a thermostat which is set at 19 and a half degrees, and it runs off a central heating uh, electronic controller. So I have my heating comes on for five hours of a morning and seven hours of an evening, like I would with a normal oil system. These systems will integrate into your existing systems, so don't take your oil or gas boiler out, put these in and reduce the amount of oil that you're using. There are grants available on these boilers, if you, there's a link from our website to the um, grant sites, so that you can click on those and it will take you directly there. We're looking at the, the top of the chimney now, uh, just after we've shut it up and set the fan going, just to show you that there is no smoke at all. You should, sometimes you see a, like a heat vapour coming out of the top of the chimney. There is a little bit of smoke. Processing timber. In my boiler, it's a 25 kilowatt boiler, and you halve that, and that gives you the amount of timber that you will need. So I'll need 10 to 12 tons of timber through my boiler to keep my house beautifully warm. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a, a processor uh, like this, which can do uh, 10 tons in a day. So if you don't have your own, there are contractors around. You and we'll set it going and then you'll see how it works.